Good morning, campers. It's the uh, third day after the day of infamy. Uh, today I'm going to be playing a song by Jelly Biafra. Guatamano, I can't even say it. Uh, it's a new band he's with. I have a tongue twister this morning. But we'll get to the song and I'll get to this picture and we'll play it for a little bit. The song's called Satan's Comb Over. It's about Donald Trump. Okay, we're halfway in the song. I think it's really cool. It uh, If I didn't know any better, if someone said, hey, the Dead Kennedys put out a new album, and this would kind of convince me that this was the Dead Kennedys. I mean, uh, through the guitar playing styles and stuff like that, kind of the surf rock solos, 70s sounding, uh, something you would hear, like I think, and even in like Batman or something like that, you know? And... Uh, Jello's voice, uh, it sounds really like, you know, he's still back in the 80s, man. Like, you know, uh, I want to hear a Ugaralis, you know, or, uh, you know, Holiday in Cambodia. But uh, watching the video a bit as I was drawing and uh, 
you know, he really focuses on the, the racism in this country for this song and blames a lot of it on Trump. I, I can say that uh, racism was kind of a big issue through Trump, but it was even a big issue in this country even before Trump. I'm not going to uh, to damn or or try to support what you may think what uh, you know it, about uh, Trump is is kind of in a sense anyone's personal business. It's I have to say that uh, racism ramped up, but I don't think it was just the whites ramping it up. I think the media really paid a big uh, uh, point in it because you know the more chaos that happens the more for their uh, more money they make I guess somehow or another you know the more uh, people that tune in and watch the world destruction it's all the news actually became you know it's like anything negative they can pull out and I have a strong belief personally that uh, we no longer have uh an independent press. Uh, the press is ran by like uh, six companies, I think. Walt Disney is a company that, that <laughs> I wish they just stuck to cartoons. But uh, now they're like into everything. I mean, even at one point, even Danzig was signed to Walt Disney, I think. And uh, it's not that they're a bad company. I mean... I mean, look at the, the mouse is successful. Kids growing up loves the mouse. I even loved the mouse when I was a kid. You know? Um, it kind of uh, had like an Americana feel, I almost want to say, to it. Walt Disney did. But uh, that's a whole other subject. Uh, you know, I I... I listened to Jello talk today, and I feel that he is uh, maybe trying to just uh, continue his legacy of the of the anti uh, corporation, anti government naysayer to everything. I mean, I was talking to Bruce. About when Jello went out to the Skatetopia and you know he walked into the skate museum and said, "This is not real." <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've never seen Jello be off on a half pipe, but uh, you won't see me on on one myself either. So I mean, I'm not going to judge uh, what's a legit skate museum. Uh, I don't know. So far, I dig this song. I'm going to turn it back on. We're halfway in the song. It's uh, 324. And this, this is a kind of a long song for Jello. I think. It's uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds.
I have to say, man, that was a really good song. Uh, like I said, it reminds me of Dead Kennedys. I mean, when I go to Jell B. Offer, that's what I hope to hear is like, you know, Dead Kennedys, I guess. And I think it's really cool that uh, he can still do music and still write a good product. Uh, I kind of now wish I could have a, a talk with him just to see where he really, really feels about things, you know. I think there's some questions I'd ask him that, uh, I don't know, that may have not been asked to him or, like, uh, you know, the Trump is so bad, was, uh, was Barack Obama really any better? Is uh, Biden any better? We'll have to see and find out. Right now I'm 12 minutes into my 15 minute uh, drawing each day. This one here has actually become more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Uh, a lot of like uh, thin lines to shadowing and it's good, good practice actually. Um, I don't know. I, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I've been watching the Tom Green show on uh, YouTube. He's doing kind of like a road trip with his dog. And I kind of enjoy seeing what he's doing. I really like the fact that he, he's got his own music and stuff like that he puts on the in the backgrounds as filler and... Kind of shows there's more of a mind there that and and uh, Tom Green that we probably gave credit to. I mean, but a little bit of it kind of reminds me of that show that used to be in California. I forget that guy's name, but he did California Gold. He wasn't really the sharpest sounding guy, but uh, he. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He used to go around California and like. Point out things that uh, tourists can go see. You know, he go up to a post office worker or somebody that works there. Hello there. Uh, so what? Your what? What brings you here? I'm working. Oh, that's great. What? What do you do? I, I'm a post office worker. That is amazing. Now, could you tell me how? Could you tell me something about the post office here in Barstow? Well, uh, there's uh, probably twenty employees. Twenty employees. That is amazing. And uh, everything was just so great to this guy. Uh, if you have a chance to look him up. Anyways, there's my fifteen minutes. Uh, if you guys get a chance, check out the song yourself. Uh, I'm going to be looking for some songs that I don't like and try to break down why I don't like them. Um, hope you guys have a great day.